Welcome from Munich, we are here with the Acer Nitro that we have after the unboxing now set up to play Witcher and Fallout 4. You have seen the Fallout 4 footage maybe in my German video, here we will do the Witcher 3 review a little bit after we go around the device again if you haven't seen it. This is the 2016 model with the latest Intel um, CPU and graphics inside. We have an i7 um, uh, inside here with the Ultrabook processor that still is capable of a lot with the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 950M that's also here inside um, that gives us up to 4 gigs of virtual dedicated memory um, with the 8 gigs of RAM that are also inside and up to 1 terabyte of hard drive space and an SSD makes the notebook quite quick with a full HD screen that you can see here I'm running just a standard Windows 10 on DirectX 12 but we have also connected it to a large TV so you can see the gaming footage a little bit better in a second. So first of all we have standard USB 3 ports on the right side and a Thunderbolt port also so you can use it with different adapters. Here the Acer V Nitro. Then we have an HDMI port for external display obviously output and a full network port and then also a little bit of power so we can game for more than just a few minutes when the device is running on full throttle. So you can see also on this side we have one more USB port for um, standard USB 2, uh, 2 devices like um, you would use with uh, the gaming controller is then obviously an optical disk drive if you just want to watch a few movies or you have really old games that still need that kind of port and the Kensington lock on the back and also then on the complete black there's no ports at all except for um, you can see here that the display is tiltable back quite nicely and on the front you will find also an SD card slot um, for obviously using it with your camera or anything else that you want to um, plug in here but it will stick out with all as with all the other Acer V Nitro before so let me set up my camera and then we will start which you will see that it starts quite quickly and the loading time is also um, all right so we have here which as you were able to see fallout 4 is right there but we will just double click this one and then start it up Quickly in the background there is um, Chrome running and obviously the standard Windows features also but we can skip here the beginning right away we are in the game almost we just have to say continue and then we will continue from the space uh, from the place where we left off which is still um, quite at the beginning but I just want to run around and show you a little bit the graphics here that run at not full HD in this game I think it's a 1536 um, resolution in terms of the width but it still looks quite stunning if you look at the trees in the back where the wind is blowing then all the shadows and shades here in the background and i can just turn around away to see here my character which is obviously running through the nice atmosphere here still in the castle so let me just run around a little bit get maybe here upstairs just do a bit of story of the story part that is here in the beginning following the kit here through the tutorial and then you will be able to see that really the graphics and the loading times were quite short and come on can't be that hard there you go um, you can then be able to see that the Acer V Nitro for around a uh, thousand bucks with this configuration is a nice piece of hardware to own if you don't want to have a big bulky gaming system but still want to play the latest games and uh, fans are also not that loud so they're not that annoying if you have um, a headset on or just the game at a medium volume we won't really hear them. So thank you much for tuning in. This was the really short um, gaming test of the Acer Aspire V Nitro 15. Till next time, peace out again. My name is Bolage and thank you much for watching.